For this experiment, we will need a AAA battery, tape, magnet, two safety pins, neodymium magnets, copper wire, and scissors. First, I will attach the safety pin to the side of the cell with the help of tape. Then I will do the same for the other side. Then I will take my magnets and put them on top of each other. Note that you need to have neodymium magnets for this experiment. I will put these magnets on top of the cell. Then I will loop my copper wire into a shape similar to this. Then I just have to put my wire in like this and it should start working. If not, you might have to adjust the position of your magnets, safety pins or the shape of the copper wire. Then it starts working and rotating like this. Okay, so now I will explain what is actually happening here. The copper wire touches the safety pins which are connected to the battery, making a complete circuit. This allows a current of electrons to move through the wire. The magnet creates a magnetic field. Therefore, current flows in the presence of a magnetic field. When current flows in the presence of a magnetic field, a force is created. This is called Lorentz force and it acts perpendicular to the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. It might sound a bit confusing, so I will show you what I mean. So, Lorentz force states that this here is the direction of the magnetic field. This is the direction of the flow of the current of electrons. And this is the force. So, when we look at this setup here, the magnetic field is in this direction and the direction is north to south, north to south. Here, the current is flowing like this. When I do the right hand rule, you can see the current is in this direction, which is seen in the battery. Now this here is the force. Okay, let me put it like this. That's the flow of current. The magnetic field is this way and the force is there. So if I put this properly, here is the copper wire and the force is in this direction which makes the copper wire rotate. So it pushes it that way and it goes round and round and round. And this is how this experiment actually works. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe.